The man caught on camera robbing an Ellensburg convenience store with his nine-year-old daughter was found in California but got away before he was arrested. Here's a picture that shows Robert Webb pointing a gun at the store clerk and demanding money earlier this week. His nine-year-old daughter is just behind him. Police in Fortuna say Webb stopped last night at the home of an acquaintance who called police because he thought Webb might be driving drunk. When police arrived, Webb jumped into his car, took off, leaving his daughter behind. The girl's mother is heading to Fortuna to pick her up. Webb remains on the loose. In the robbery, he made off with about $200. Robert Webb's armed robbery could be classified as a crime of desperation. And as the slumping economy takes its toll on people, police say they've seen a jump in robberies, burglaries, car thefts, and shoplifting. KXY4's Tanya Dahl joins us now tonight. And an easy opportunity is becoming enough for some people to go on the wrong side of the law. Leaving stuff like this in your parked car just isn't a good idea. Police say with the economy tanking and more people without work, crime is on the rise. This father in Ellensburg is just the most recent example, robbing a convenience store at gunpoint with his daughter standing by his side. He apparently told the clerk, I'm out of work. My daughter's got to survive. Since the beginning of the year, January, February, uh, we've added increases in burglary, vehicle prowling, a little bit of vehicle theft in particular areas. In and around Spokane, a similar story of desperation. The economic downturn has meant a jump in car burglaries. Spokane police say they're seeing double the number of car break-ins compared to two years ago. We were normally seeing uh, 70 to 80 vehicle prowlings. We've seen um, quite a few that are above 100, even one week where we had it, uh, around 130 vehicle prowlings. Roger King lives in the South Hill neighborhood and recently had his car burglarized. I see some of my stuff laying on, on the uh, ground and... Um, that just, it was just a violation. I just went in there, my Zoom was gone. With young children at home, he worries for his family's safety. Now I'm worried about my house and, you know, I'm standing here looking in the window, even watching my kids uh, playing in the yard. Experts say when the economy is looking bleak, that's when crime goes up. My fiance and I went to the Garland Theater to go to the movie marathon there and when we got out of the movies uh, my car was broken into. Jordan Hartnett is also a victim of car burglary. Having moved here from Arizona he finds it surprising. Kind of shocked me. My stereo was taken. As for the King family they're heading to another neighborhood. Breaking in your car is not that far from breaking into your house especially when they're doing it right there. And experts say another sign of tough economic times, a rise in domestic violence. Reporting live, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.